Hello hackers, welcome to a new challenge. In today's lab, we are going to hack exploiting NoSQL operator injection to bypass the authentication. So in this lab, there is a login functionality that is powered by MongoDB NoSQL database, and it's vulnerable to NoSQL injection using MongoDB operators. So if you're not familiar with operators, I will show you some of them that we are going to use in this lab. And our mission is very easy. All what we have to do is to connect as administrator user. And to do this, they provide us a credential of winner Peter so we can test the login functionality. So guys, let me show you some of MongoDB operators. Let's go to the official MongoDB documentation. So I will put this link in the description below if you want to check it. And now let's scroll down. And here we go. So the first operators that we are going to test that call it comparison. And one of them that we are going to focus in that is dollar sign in. So that means we have an array of values. And if one of them is matches to the username, it will be accepted. And also we are going to use the dollar sign in E, which means not equal, which means if the value is not equal, what we providing. And also we will try to test not in, which means none of the values specified in the array. And also we are going to test another operators in evaluation, call it regular expression. So we are going to use dollar sign regs, and this is a very famous and powerful tool of regular expression. So guys, without further ado, let's go and and uh, here we go guys, so in case that we know that the vulnerable is related to the authentication, so let me go directly in there, so let's go to my account, and here we go, now I will activate Foxy Proxy, I'm using Community Edition, let's go to the proxy, enter spec twice, and go to HTTP history. So in here I do have a credential of winner and password of Peter. And here we go, now as you can see, we have this post method, which is responsible for the login, and it redirected me to my account. And here we go, so let me test the post login. And as you can see guys, we have two indicators. The first one, that it's using a JSON in the body, with a post method, and also it redirected me and gave me 302. So now let me resend this endpoint to the repeater. Here we go. Now let me resend the request again. And as you can see, it provides me with a session cookie to connect as a winner. And now let me try to make something wrong in here and see the result. So let's add random character and the password. Let me resend again. And as you can see now, I just got an HTML response with a 200 status. So if I go to the render, I can see that it's invalid username and a password. So in here, I can recognize if it's 200, which means I'm not able to connect. If it's 302, which means I'm logging successfully. And here we go. So now let me show you the operators that we talked about it before. So let me scroll up and see the comparisons uh, operator. So I'm going to start with not equal. So I will see if this body accept operators or not. So let me try it in here remove this one and and in case that i'm going to use operators so definitely it will be inside an object so it will be a new field inside an object so now let me copy not equal so let's say dollar sign not equal and let me just write a random password so if this vulnerable it means if the username equal to winner and the password not equal to this one then connect me. So let me try to send. And here we go. Now, as you can see, I got also 302, which means this body is vulnerable to MongoDB operators. So now let me try to write a correct password and see, let's say Peter. So this is definitely not correct because we have a winner user with the password of Peter. So definitely I have to see 200 in here. And here we go, now I got 200, and this is a confirmation for me that this vulnerable to operator. So let me just put this empty and resend. 
So I'm going to make this value empty in here because it's not equal to empty. And now I'm going to test the username. So in case that I know that my target is administrator, let me just copy the name from here and repaste it as a username and let me try. And here we go, now I got 200. So that means there is no username equal to administrator. So maybe they are using something different. So now let me show you the other operators and how to use them. So now let me use to the n. And here we go, now let me create a new object with a new field of n, which means in the array. Now let me try some of the names. So we saw that the administrator doesn't exist. Let's say admin, or maybe let's say admin with a capital letter. And let's try this one. And here we go. Now another sign that these two names doesn't exist. So if you want to check if this works or not, I can add a new value in here with the winner because definitely I know that winner exists in the database and let me send. And as you can see guys, I connected as a winner and I got 302. So another note in here, if I do have a list of usernames, so the first correct one of them, it will be provided. So if the admin exists and also the winner exists, it will take the first one and connect me as an admin, not as a winner. So now let me try the third one, which means none of these values exist in the database. So let me remove winner and let me resend again. And here we go. Now I got 500 of status, which means that this body is not vulnerable to this specific operator. So to fix this, I can just go to use another operator of evaluation, call it regular expression. And now I'm going to use it in here. So let's say dollar sign regs. So if you're not familiar with the regular expression, you can find many resources in the internet. And now let me show you some of them. So let me use the sign, this arrow sign, which means if there is a username start with the letter W provided for me. So definitely we know that there is a user start with a W, which is winner. And let me try and see. And here we go, now you can see that we are able to connect as a winner, even that I don't provide him the right name, I just provide the first letter of the winner. And this is what I'm going to do. So let me now provide A and see if administrator exists or not. And here we go guys, as you can see guys, there is a word admin in here, and it concatenate with the random characters in here. And this is a very basic kind of protection, the username of the admin. Now we do have this login session. All what we have to do is to back to the lab. In here, I do have an extension called Cookie Editor. So this is makes more easy for me to update the cookie. So let me copy this one from here. So Control C, and then I'm going to replace the oldest one. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to refresh. And here we go, guys. As you can see, congratulations, you solved the lab. And let me go to my account and see, and here we go. Now you can see that I'm connecting as an administrator and also I'm able to see my email. And here we go guys, I hope that you learned how to bypass the authentication using MongoDB operators. So if you want to learn more, all what you have to do is to visit this documentation and you will see several of operators that you can use in the future to easy bypass the authentication or any different kind of defenses. So thank you for watching my video guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you have any question or you need any help, all what you have to do is to write it in the comment below and stay tuned for the next videos.